What's going on everyone? This is X55 and um, welcome to a brand new game called Wreckfest. Now I was originally going to do this game yesterday, but I couldn't do it to time and event. But anyways, yeah, this is Wreckfest. And this is kind of like a demolition derby slash banger race slash racing game. And it's created by Bugbear Studios, I think. Which is basically the same people who did flat out. The flat out game. It's like but until like another company bought Flat Out, which is why Flat Out 4 was so bad, they made this game. And they couldn't name it Flat Out because they would get sued for it. But anyways, there's like and this is the rate anyways, this is Wreckfest and this is the racing section. There's career, custom event, multi and multiplayer. Multiplayer self explanatory custom events where you can pick the track, pick your own car, and race that race. And you get like a certain amount of money after a race and you also get game experience right now I am winning 37 and I have 21,000 21, credits career is also self-explanatory you start your own racing career there's regional juniors national amateurs challengers pro internationals and world masters I am currently at pro internationals because I have been playing this game for quite some time and it's actually very fun. Garage, we have my cars, which is the cars you can buy. Tuning, I don't really mess with that much, but you can tune, like, if it's all-wheel drive, you can tune the transmission, if you can tune the differential lock. Paint shop is also self-explanatory. You can paint your own car. Assembly is where you upgrade the car. So, like, you have multiple engine parts and you can upgrade it. So, like, you... So like that, yeah. And customize, you get to customize the car, like roll cage, front fenders, fender flares, basically all the external parts on the car that can fall off. It's, and mark is where you can buy other cars. If this thing will load, huh? Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I actually can buy some of these. Yeah, these are, yeah, these are cars that I can actually buy right now. But I am not going to buy cars right now because I am just going to be doing the racing portion of this game. Huh? No, I don't want to exit the game. Yeah, you hit escape to go back and enter to, like, start, start races and all that stuff. But we're doing a custom event, and we're doing the, oops. We'll do the Speedway 1. We're doing Oval. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? We'll use this car. Yeah, this is the event type, like a banger race, a team race. You can select a number of teams. We're doing a... And there's the elimination race. And then we're just doing a banger race. There's a number of opponents. I have at 23, which is the max. Oops, I didn't mean I didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Dang it! Wait, can I turn it back? Yeah, I can. Okay. Here's the number of laps I have at five. Where there's random. You can turn it to sunrise, sunset, noon, and then AI set class B, which is basically the same class as my car. And damage is here normal. We're realistic. Realistic is self-explanatory. Normal is when the cars are a lot more durable. And you can last a lot longer with this. I'm going to have it normal because you don't really last very long if it's unrealistic. Difficulty. The driving difficulty I have it at easy. But you have it like full. ABS is full. Traction control is full. And then stability control is full as well. Shifting automatic because I do not know how to shift on manual. Wait, does it? Oh, you can actually have a custom. Okay, I'll have a custom. Yeah, I like to have it on automatic because it's very difficult to do it on manual. I've tried before. It's very, very hard. An AI difficulty. You have novice, amateur, and expert. I just have it on amateur right now because I've done that because that's what I'm at right now. I'll do. I have done expert a couple times in the past. And I have won a couple races as an expert, but it's extremely hard because, like, it's one of those races when, like, it's based off of the position you start in. Like, if you 
start the front of the pack, you basically stay at the front of the pack the whole time. And if you start at the rear of the pack, you basically stay at the rear of the pack the whole time. So yeah, it's all that. It's all of that. It's that whole thing. And the car types, like there's three main types. There's region, uh, like type, like wagon, sport muscle, and drive, like rear wheel drive, front wheel drive, and all wheel drive. And region is American, European, or Asian. And all these cars are, are actually based off of actual realistic cars. Like I know there's an old world voice. There's some there's a Fiat, there's a old Nissan which is this car right here. You'll recognize it as it when you get a better look at it. There's a Volkswagen, which is this one. Even though it doesn't look like it. The air version of it looks a lot like it. There's an old there's old Chevy's. There's old Fords. Like a Ford Bronco, Ford Mustang. Chevy Impala, Chevy, Chevy Bel Air, I got Chevrolet Station Wagon, there's a, a Honda, and there's like a couple of cars I don't know, that I haven't even seen, like, a tri like the TriStar, yeah, if you live in Asia, you might know what it is. So if you do, let me know in the comment section. Like, I do, I am a car guy and I do know a lot of cars, but that's just one of those cars I really don't know. And I know there's a Pontiac GTO as well. And an old Chevrolet Camaro Super Sport. Yeah, there's a Rolls Royce. Yeah, I'm in, like, an old... Either old Chevrolet or an old Chevrolet Sedan. And that is loud, okay. Okay, here we go. There's a the PPR right there. That's a door. Okay, that's a tri car that is the first one to be. Yeah, this is a name turn around this game. It has some of the crazy things. Yeah, you can't lose the wheels in this game. Like, 
wheels are not, well, are not going to always stay attached on that. If they are going to be, if they are going to be attached to the tech, I've never tried to check them out. I know if you want me to try to check them out. 